In the heart of ancient Egypt, a realm of prosperity and grandeur unfolds, ruled by the captivating Cleopatra VII. Her reign is marked by shimmering opulence and a golden age of wisdom. Her intellect, as sharp as the edge of an Egyptian kopesh, is as renowned as her striking beauty, which is said to eclipse even the brilliance of the desert sun. She is Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt, a woman of immense power and allure. Her charisma magnetizes many, among them is a man of formidable stature, Mark Antony. He is no ordinary man but a Roman general, a politician, a man of influence and authority. Yet even he, the mighty Mark Antony, is enraptured by Cleopatra's charm. Despite his marital ties to Octavia, the sister of Octavian Caesar, Mark Antony finds himself ensnared in the labyrinth of Cleopatra's enchantment. His heart beats to the rhythm of the Nile, his soul irresistibly drawn to the Egyptian queen. Bound by a shared vision of power and unity, Cleopatra and Mark Antony form a secret alliance, a bond that transcends political boundaries. In the heart of this prosperous kingdom of ancient Egypt, two formidable forces unite. Cleopatra, the last pharaoh, a woman of incomparable intellect and beauty, finds an equal in Mark Antony, the Roman general and politician. Despite his marital ties to Octavia, Antony is captivated by Cleopatra's allure, ensnared in a love that knows no bounds. Their hearts beat to the rhythm of a shared dream, a vision of an empire where Egypt stands tall, undeterred by Rome's looming shadow. Their alliance is not merely a union of hearts, but a strategic partnership. Cleopatra, ever the astute ruler, finds in Antony a staunch supporter of her reign. Antony, on the other hand, is bewitched by the promise of a kingdom where he could wield power alongside a woman he profoundly admires. Together, they form a formidable front, a beacon of hope in a world torn by political strife. Yet, in the corridors of power where every whisper carries weight, their secret love stands on precarious ground. The political tension between Rome and Egypt serves as a constant reminder of the fragility of their alliance. Every stolen glance, each clandestine meeting, is a risk, a gamble they willingly take, for in each other, they find a solace that the throne cannot offer. This is a tale of love defying the odds, of passion searing through the cold veneer of political machinations. It's a story of two potentates, bound by a grand vision, entangled in a love that dared to defy the world. Their alliance, shrouded in secrecy, is a testament to their audacity, to their undying commitment to each other, and to their shared dream of a unified empire. Their hidden affair, however, would not remain concealed for long. The wheels of fate were already turning, setting the stage for a clash of titans that would change the course of history. But that, my friends, is a tale for another time. Their secret exposed, Cleopatra and Mark Antony find themselves in the crosshairs of the future Emperor Augustus, Octavian Caesar. This is where the tale takes a dramatic turn. The clandestine love affair, once a secret whispered only in the confines of the royal chambers, is now the talk of the Roman Empire. Octavian Caesar, a formidable strategist and a man with an insatiable thirst for power, stumbles upon this secret. The whispers reach his ears, painting a vivid picture of the alliance between Egypt and Rome, a union personified by Cleopatra and Mark Antony. For Octavian, this alliance is not a symbol of unity, but a threat, a direct challenge to Rome's supremacy. The idea of his sister's husband, Mark Antony, pledging allegiance to the beautiful queen of Egypt, Cleopatra, does not sit well with Octavian. He views this as a betrayal, a betrayal not just to him, but to Rome. The very thought of Mark Antony and Cleopatra ruling Egypt with a power that might rival Rome's is intolerable. In a world where power is the ultimate prize, love is often the casualty. Octavian, with his eyes set on the throne of Rome, sees the alliance between Cleopatra and Mark Antony as a roadblock on his path to power. And so, he does what any man consumed by the desire for power would do. He declares war. A war not just against Egypt, but a war against the forbidden love of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. A war against a union that could disrupt the balance of power. The drums of war echo across the land, the battle lines are drawn, and the stage is set for a conflict that could change the course of history. With the mighty forces of Rome bearing down on them, Cleopatra and Mark Antony prepare for a battle that could change the course of history. The echoes of their love story are about to clash with the harsh reality of war. The war of power has begun. 
As the Battle of Actium rages, Cleopatra and Mark Antony fight valiantly, their love for each other fueling their determination. Picture this, a fierce naval confrontation, the Mediterranean Sea roiling with the chaos of war. The air is filled with the roar of battle cries, the clash of weapons and the desperate prayers to the gods. At the heart of this turmoil are two lovers. Their love story is one that has transcended the boundaries of their respective kingdoms. A love that has defied the norms and expectations of their time. Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, and Mark Antony, the Roman general, stand side by side, their hearts beating in unison with the rhythm of the conflict. Their fight is not just for power or territory, but for their love, their alliance, their shared dreams of a future together. Yet, even love as profound as theirs cannot alter the harsh realities of war. Octavian's forces, driven by their future emperor's ambition and determination, proved to be formidable opponents. Despite their valiant efforts and the strength of their bond, Cleopatra and Mark Antony faced the bitter taste of defeat. The Battle of Axiom, a pivotal moment in history, signals the end of their dreams, their alliance, and their reign. Yet even in defeat, Cleopatra's spirit remains unbroken. She refuses to bow down to Octavian, to let him bask in the glory of her surrender. With a heavy heart, she flees the battlefield, escaping to the familiar sands of Egypt. She leaves behind a defeated lover, a lost battle, and a kingdom on the brink of collapse. Yet, she carries with her a resolution, a fierce determination that echoes her undying spirit. Defeated and heartbroken, Cleopatra makes the ultimate sacrifice, choosing death over surrender. Her decision, though tragic, is a testament to her courage, her pride, and her love for Mark Antony. It's a poignant end to a tale of passion and power, a tale that continues to captivate and inspire even thousands of years later. In the wake of Cleopatra's death, Mark Antony, unable to envision a life without his beloved, follows her into the afterlife. A world without Cleopatra was a world Mark Antony could not bear to exist in. His heart, once filled with an unquenchable love, was now a gaping void. Unable to bear the crushing weight of his sorrow, Mark Antony made the decision to join Cleopatra in death, a testament to the depth of his love for her. In this poignant act, the world lost not just a Roman general and politician, but also a man who dared to love beyond boundaries, beyond politics, beyond reason. His death was not just the end of a man, but the end of a love story that has transcended time and space. Yet, the tragic end of this forbidden love story marked a significant turning point in history. With the death of Mark Antony and the demise of Cleopatra, the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, a dynasty that had ruled for almost 300 years, came to an abrupt end. The land of the pharaohs, once a formidable power, was now on the brink of becoming a mere province in the vast Roman Empire. This was the price of their love. Their alliance, formed out of passion and mutual respect, had threatened the power balance of the time. Their defiance had set in motion a series of events that led to war, defeat, and ultimately, their tragic end. Yet, in spite of the heavy price, their love story remains an enduring symbol of passion and defiance, a testament to the lengths people can go when driven by love. The world may remember Mark Antony and Cleopatra for their political roles, their power, their influence, Yet it is their love story that truly stands the test of time, a story that continues to captivate, to inspire, to move. And so ends the tragic tale of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, a story of love, power, and defiance that changed the course of history.